silversmiths in Ephesus riot against the way. Paul spent over two years in Ephesus preaching that Jesus is the way to God. And the new Christians became known as followers of the way. In Ephesus was the temple of the Greek goddess Artemis. She was worshipped by the Romans as the goddess Diana. People from all around the area came to worship at the temple. Demetrius, a silversmith, had a large business, employing many craftsmen, making silver shrines of the goddess Artemis. He called a meeting of the craftsmen and traders who sold the items to worshippers of Artemis. Gentlemen, you know that our wealth comes from this business, Demetrius declared. But Paul has persuaded people around this area that handmade gods aren't really gods at all. I'm concerned that the temple Artemis will lose its influence and this magnificent goddess will be robbed of her great prestige. On hearing this, the men became very angry and began shouting, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. The angry mob rushed toward the amphitheater, a large stadium in Ephesus that could hold 25,000 people. They dragged two of Paul's traveling companions from Macedonia, Gaius, and Aristarchus into the amphitheater with them. When Paul heard about the riot, he wanted to go to the amphitheater, but the believers wouldn't let him. Officials who were friends of Paul, were begging him not to risk his life, and to stay away. Inside, the people were all shouting, some one thing and some another. Everything was in confusion and many didn't know why they were there. The Jews in the crowd pushed Alexander forward and asked him to explain the situation. He motioned for silence and tried to speak. But when the crowd realized he was a Jew, they started chanting again, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. They kept up the chant for two hours. Eventually, the city clerk was able to quiet them. Citizens of Ephesus, he said. Everyone knows that Ephesus is the official guardian of the temple of the great Artemis, whose image fell down to us from heaven. Stay calm. You have brought these men here, but they have not stolen from the temple or spoken against our goddess. If Demetrius and the craftsmen have a case against them, they should make formal charges. The courts are in session and the officials can hear the case at once. We're in danger of being charged by the Roman government of rioting without a good cause. And if Rome demands an explanation, we wouldn't know what to say. A few minutes later, the city clerk dismissed them and they dispersed. When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for the disciples, after encouraging them, he said goodbye, and set out for Macedonia. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.